Hello everyone, Carson here, and welcome back to my channel. Now in today's video, I'm going to be explaining to you the difference between VPS hosting and shared hosting in a simple and easy to understand video. Before we do get into this video though, just a reminder to leave a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so every time I upload, you are notified because I upload all the time and you don't want to miss out on my content. Also, VPS and shared hosting, they're both great and there are differences which I'm going to explain in this video. But no matter which plan you decide to go with, I've actually got links in the description to my favorite VPS and shared hosts where you can check them out at a special discount. So now let's go ahead and get started. Now VPS and shared hosting are essentially two different types of website hosting. They both provide two different fundamental services and they are used for different things. They are both hosting however, but there is some slight differences. Now the first thing we need to understand is shared hosting. Shared hosting is essentially a hosting platform where multiple websites share the same amount of resources on a server. What this means is that the server will dish out those resources to all these websites. However, if there is a heavy amount of load on a certain website and one website is receiving a lot of traffic, the rest of the websites might take a slightly slower load time as a result. This isn't necessarily bad though because usually this doesn't happen and Shared hosting is easily the cheapest web hosting on the market. The cheapest plans is coming in around at 99 cents per month, which is obscenely cheap and incredibly good quality as well. The majority of people who use shared hosting are going to be smaller businesses, smaller websites, people who really don't need that extra step up and who are just getting started as well. Maybe people who haven't quite turned a profit yet, but shared hosting is usually on the general end for smaller scale projects. This doesn't mean that even the small scale projects can be big enough for you though. The small scale projects though are usually big enough for 99% of people. However, let's go ahead and jump into what VPS hosting is. Now VPS or virtual private server hosting is essentially where you get your own private server with your own specific set amount of data and storage space and processing power, but it's all virtual. What this means is you will get a chunk of a dedicated server, but in a virtual format. So essentially for all intents and purposes, you're getting a dedicated server, but not the actual hardware. Instead, the computer emulates or simulates that hardware as a virtual private server. The name is actually pretty self-explanatory. Essentially, it is a private server, but it's virtual. Now, the benefits to virtual private server hosting are usually a few. Number one, and first and foremost, is the performance. Virtual private server hosting allows you to customize pretty much everything, which means you can make the performance just absolutely awesome. You can customize every single thing you need to make sure your website performs as good as possible, unlike shared hosting, which usually doesn't give you root access to the the actual server. Another benefit of VPS server hosting is the fact that you do get all that customizability, which means you can pretty much add any type of CMS or really anything else you want to host if you know how. Now the two downsides in my opinion to virtual private server hosting are number one, obviously the increased price because it is slightly a step up from shared hosting, the price will be increased. And the second downside in my opinion is that it might be slightly more technical. Usually the good shared hosting plans are just plug and play, but VPS hosting can be a slight step up from that. So you need to watch out for that and make sure you know how to use VPS hosting. In the end though, it really just depends on the scale and the performance and the customizability you need for your website on if you decide to go with VPS or shared hosting. I am going to leave a link in the description to my favorite VPS and shared hosts of 2021 so you can actually check them out at a special discount. Thanks for watching. Remember to leave a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, and I will see you in the next video.